Now you mentioned NEPSAC and we've had coaches on from all the different levels. And I think you're the first coach from class B and, right. you know, I've asked a lot of different level coaches. Does it matter if you're playing at a triple A school, double A, single A, B, C, I've asked this to prep school coaches and college coaches, like say it, there's a clone and one's the same clones at Brewster, the same clones at gun. Does not matter what league he's in? Um, how, when families ask you about the cl the B class, you know, how do you answer uh, its advantages or, or disadvantages? So um, I don't, I think that when you get A, B, A and B, I don't think there's much difference at all. A and B and in some leagues around the country where I've coached before, like in the MIA down in the Maryland, Baltimore, DC area, is kind of how you kind of petition up or you get dropped down if you're not competitive. That's not how we work. It's literally how many boys you have in the school. If you mm -hmm. can't, you can win every year, or you can lose every game. You're either A or B. Once you get into double A or triple A, you're getting into kind of a, a different um, a different situation. They play with like the college three-point line or they'll play with the college rules or the, the longer uh, like 20 minute halves instead of 16 minute halves. So there's a little bit different in the double A and the triple A. The rules are the same from a, the amount of work you can do out of season, the number of games you can play, that kind of stuff is not that different, but the, it is different in the sense that a lot of those schools are having two teams, right? Mm -hmm. So you're having, the prep team and the varsity team or a blue team and a gold team. And so, and so you're talking about maybe having, you know, 25, 30 kids who think they're going to college to play basketball at your school. And that creates a lot of advantages at the double A AA and triple A level at the Frederick gun school at the B conference, you're having maybe like, we'll have eight kids on our team right that are trying to go to college and so they're getting a lot more individual focus now they're still a division one kids every time we play a game we're playing against that kid's getting it going to Rutgers that kid's going to you know wherever right like so you're still getting a, a good level of competition we still play double a schools you know we'll have um b conference schools will play double a schools or triple a schools that you can still play across those lines so it's not I think that's a big thing people don't understand that who you play is not is more based on geography and kind of tradition than what your division is. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the year, so there's 30 schools in B conference, everybody plays whoever they want to play. And then at the end, there's like a committee like college football and they pick eight and they, that eight plays in the playoffs. Um, and that's the really the only time that they level. Them out. And then I would say that our, B conference schools over the last four years have outplayed our top schools have outplayed the A conference, um, you know, or we'll have a Canterbury or a Rivers or Brooks consistently um, play, you know, with, with those higher, higher level programs. Yeah.